Welcome back to Honor Football. Today's review is going to be on new shoulder pads from Gear Pro Tech. These are called the Razors. I unboxed these last week. And in today's review, I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown, a detailed review of these shoulder pads. So some of the things I'm going to go over are just all the new technology that's in this pad. How it differs from some of the pads that you may use. And specifically, how it differs from one of their top selling pads, also from Gear Pro Tech, the Z Cool pad. So you guys are familiar with this. You've seen Z Cool. A lot of you guys have hit me up about it. I haven't reviewed them. But it's going to be really useful because as I go through these pads and talk about some of the differences, I'm going to talk about the main points that really make the razors what they are. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So the first thing you notice about these pads is obviously the look. You've got this nice matte black overlay on the pads. You've got this shinier black in the plastic of the external arch. You've got this nice metallic silver where it says razor, as well as a nice metallic silver on this side where it says gear protect, which is the brand of the pad. You've also got this kind of electric green color. It has a little green mixed in with some yellow. As you guys can see, it really makes the pad stand out. Um, when you look at the back of the pad, and I've got the back plate attached to this one, but you've still got that same matte black you know, colorway on the pad. And you've got kind of this elastic fabric right here on the back, as well as, again, on the front. Um, taking a look at the inside of the pad, you know, it says razor in that same kind of, I'm gonna call it electric green, colorway um, with the hex uh, foam padding that I talked about in the unboxing. Um, you've got some of that padding here on this side and you've got uh, foam in the middle and then you've got the hex padding um, which is a different type of foam also on the outside of the back plate. Um, looking at the rear of the back plate, you've got that matte black with the metallic silver. So overall, when you just look at the pads, you know, this is something that um, you guys are probably going to like. It looks more like battle armor versus, if I show the z quote real quick, these pads are going to be a little more traditional in the look. You know, they've got the, the gray uh, plastic arch on the outside and then they've got the, you know, patented Z-Cool arch on the inside. So now I'm going to get into some of the technology in this pad and just what makes it different from uh, the Z-Cool pads that they've put out before and pretty much from traditional pads that you may find from other brands as well. There's so much new in this pad, so we're actually going to start with the inside of it. The first thing that stood out to me was the spine and sternum padding. So you've got this middle section here. Um, this is for the spine, and it's the compressed hex foam padding. It's the same thing that they have for the sternum, but you're not going to find this on a lot of other pads. So this is specifically going to go, it's going to line up right on your sternum, right in the middle, um, and on your spine. And if anyone's taking a hit in pads, you know that this is kind of the vulnerable area because you've got an arch here protecting this half and you've got another protecting this half and kind of got either straps or buckles, something in the middle connecting the two sides. So again, looking at the Z-Cool, you see here, this is what's connecting the middle. That's on the back. Here's what's connecting the middle on the front. And then when you take a look at it, you have, you do not have that padding on the front or on the back as well. The next cool thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the customizable padding that sits right on the arch that's going to really customize the fit. So a lot of pads have these. You can take a look at them. They're right here. You know, they're really to raise the pads off of the AC joint. I don't know if you guys can see it in the dark, but I talked about it in the unboxing. You can see it here. You can actually take out the pad with Velcro. This is the part that sits right on the shoulder. Um, the difference is this, so a lot of pads have that, right? This is not something new that you're going to see. Um, I always remove them because it's actually going to make the pad sit a little bit lower, which is good for me for, you know, my helmet movement. Um, on these pads, these are, because of the different use of the foam or the different type of foam, these are actually going to be much thicker. So I sacrificed some protection with my pads because I, I want to remove it because these are so thick and I want the pads to sit lower. The good thing about the razors is that the actual customized pads that go on the inside are a lot thinner. So you take a look at that material and see how thin it is. The next innovation I want to point out is actually the comfort liner. This comfort liner here, I talked about it in the unboxing, I said how you can use it to customize the pad. It's not so much to customize the pads, I used them and you know, wore them and tested them out. They actually have set places where you're gonna apply the Velcro. But what it does do, it allows you to remove the comfort liner to wash the pads. So I've got a lot of you guys asking me, how do I wash pads? You know what, I honestly didn't know. Um, a lot of my hand wash. Uh, but these right here, you can actually pull this out. So here's the inside of the pad. And you actually take these and you pull it out. So this is the part that is on your body. This is the part that's gonna be having the sweat 
Um, even though this is a sweat wicking material, this is the part that's gonna be in contact with your body, in contact with your body moisture and the sweat and everything else. So you simply just remove these with Velcro, hand wash them, let them air dry, and put them back in. Now obviously that's gonna be different from something like the Z-Cool. Again, their top selling pad, which is not gonna have a removable interior liner. So how do you wash these? You've got to wash the entire pad, um, find a way to wash those. Um, I actually, me myself, buy new pads. So this is something that's really cool because you can easily take this out and you can easily hand wash it. Let's take a look at the overall arch of these shoulder pads. So you can see here in the video that you've got some plastic here, you've got kind of the spandex material, more plastic, and you got the comfort liner that I talked about, and then you've got this green SAS Tech material, uh, which is unique to the Razor pads. So the interior of the arch is gonna be the patented Z-Cool technology. So the Z-Cool, when you take a look at it, it looks like you just have an external arch and then some fabric. So this Z-Cool arch here is actually gonna be foam on either side with an intern arch on the inside. So that foam on either side is gonna wick sweat away as well as protect you and having the foam on either side of it. Here, these are unique and different than any other pad on the market. These are the first pads that I've seen with this. But the actual arch is called the Dynamic ROM. I think it probably stands for Range of Motion Arch uh, to give you increased flexibility. So I'm gonna put them on and actually show them to you. But what they've done here with these pads is they built this external arch on the outside that actually allows you to lift your shoulder independent of the pad an additional 12 degrees. And that's really gonna make a difference when you raise your hands to catch the ball. So you can see here, I'm holding the pad. And you can see how this is actually gonna move. See how this entire arch moves when the pad stays still. That's the hugest thing that you're gonna see. That's probably one of the biggest innovations. There's one more I'm gonna tell you guys about. But in terms of increasing your performance, giving you a higher range of motion, this is gonna be something on all their pads that you have um, this movement right here. So you talk about the flexibility and not being able to move your arm or restriction, this is gonna eliminate any restriction. Before I get to the other innovation that's one of the unique selling points of this pad, we're gonna take a look at this green foam portion called SAS Tech. So I called it like a memory foam before, and if you push on it, you can see how it's soft. It's kind of a viscous material. They describe it as like a vis viscous elastic foam um, that's gonna protect you a little bit more. So I can't really speak much to that in terms of what all those names mean and what they, you know, why it's flexible or does mold to your body. I will say that it is gonna provide adequate protection for your shoulder. So this is the reason why they have it here because this is gonna be the main hitting point, uh, the main contact point on your shoulder. So you've got something that's very light, very thin, very flexible and highly protective. That's pretty much all you'd want in a pad. So this is something that they've had uh, in the pad and they call it out with the color. Uh, but it's something that I like, it's gonna sit right above your shoulder, right above the comfort liner, in between the comfort liner and the exterior arch. Now the caps on these pads, these are specific to this model, which is the RZ7. These are for QBs, wide receivers, corners. Um, this is gonna have a shorter cap. So you can look at it and I'll show you some of the all-purpose pads as well, the ranges that I have and how they differ. But this is gonna have a, a certain cap, a certain size and certain length that's specific for wide receivers, QBs and DBs just to give you that range of motion. So now we're gonna look at what I really like about this which is gonna be the buckle system. So I've talked a lot about what the, you know, the spandex buckle systems are that you kind of pull, you put in, and why I hate those because, you know, it can really pull the pad because you have elastic, right? So it's, you can really get up under the pad, it's easier to get blocked. So I really like the belts. The reason why I like the belts is, once you pull on that belt, it's not gonna stretch at all, right? It's gonna hold it and lock it in. Now the difficulty with the belt is, you can never get a perfect size. So for me, I count them like, the sixth hole on this side, the seventh hole on that side, and that's gonna give me the tightest fit. So this is gonna be infinitely adjustable. Okay, you can see the pad here, where you can actually, or sorry, the buckle, you can actually adjust it. So it's gonna be a sliding adjustment that's gonna be infinitely adjustable to allow you to get that perfect fit. They call it their padlock system, and the thing is you'll never have to readjust it. So you never have to reach in, you never have to ask someone, hey, can you help me buckle my pads? Because once you put it on, and I suggest that you put the pads on and that you lock them in. So you're gonna go like this, and I'll show you this when I put them on, and then you're gonna slide it back. Once you have that, then you're gonna wanna adjust the side, and you may have someone, you may need to have someone help you adjust them. Adjust them on the side, and then they'll be ready to go, they're gonna stay that way, they're not gonna move, they're gonna lock in your pads, and you can get them as tight as you want. And when you want to take them off, all you're going to do is, 
I had to squeeze my pads together a little bit, move this portion forward, and then take it out, just like that. So that's going to be a nice, cool way. You're not going to have any extra hangover that's going to, you know, stick out of your pads. You're not going to have to have a spandex jersey. You're not going to have to tuck it underneath. You're not going to have to cut it. Nothing like that. So it's ready to go right out of the box. And we're down to the last two things I want to talk about. Um, and this is something that's really underrated in a lot of pads. Um, but that really is the opening. Um, and I'll show you that when I put on the pads. But the opening of the pad is really important for a couple reasons. Um, one, it's, it's not going to get in the way of your helmet, of your neck movements. It's going to be more comfortable. It's not going to feel like it's choking you because everyone's body positioning, their shoulders are a little bit different. Um, but you look at this, this has a nice wide neck opening um, to really give you some of that movement as well as maintain that protection. Now we'll take a look at the Zequal pads. And you can already tell from looking at these two pads, you can see the opening here, how it's a little bit tighter. And you see the opening here, how it's way wider, right? So that's something that is a huge benefit. I wish more companies would focus on this. And there are companies, so this isn't the only one that have wider openings, um, but this is something that I want to call out because it's one of the most underrated features of a pad. Now, last thing is the back plate. The back plate here, you can see how I attached it. Um, there's actually two holes on the outside and there's three holes that go up and down on the actual back plate. So the reason why they have two holes here is that any back plate from just about any brand can fit these pads. And this back plate can fit just about any other pad on the market and that's why these are going to swivel. So I've showed you some other back plates before, most of them swivel um, that have like one line going up. The ones that have two don't swivel and they can't fit multiple pads. So these are going to be good for you because you can buy them with these pads, you can buy them for other pads, um, and then just look at the design as well. So they're completely adjustable. They have three holes, so three different lengths, and you can actually put them on the outside or inside. I chose to put them on the inside because I kind of like the angle um, of the pads just with the razor. It felt, you know, cooler to me. Just like in all my reviews, I want to tell you guys the good things about the pads and the things I think could be better. It was really tough to find something on these pads, and there's only one thing that I think could be better on this pad. Um, and that's really going to be the back plate. So to put on the back plate, you're going to have screws. It actually comes with uh, two or four screws, two for each side, just so you have some extra. Uh, but the back of it, it's hard to screw in. And I'm going to show you with one of the extra screws exactly what I'm talking about. So these are the screws that it comes with. And the thing is, when you screw this in, just like this, you're going to use a screwdriver and you get the, get the screw in. There's nothing to hold the back of it. So if you look at a typical helmet, which this is the same screw that goes in the helmet, there's usually some uh, you know, plastic on the outside that's going to hold this for you, kind of like a wrench where you can screw it in tightly. That does not exist on the pad. So you're going to have to use needle nose pliers um, or just pliers in general to hold the back of the nut down so you can screw it in tightly. So that's the only improvement that I see on these pads. If Gear Pro Tech, you could make something so you don't have to have another tool besides a screwdriver to kind of hold it in because that's going to be really tough for one person to do alone, especially um, without the help of like an adult or someone else. So um, that's pretty much the only improvement that I saw with these pads. So now I'm going to try the pads on, show you how they fit, show you how they move with the helmet, and show you how they look underneath the jersey. So let's take a closer look at these pads. You can see how they fit. You can see the nice wide neck opening that I talked about before. You can see how they're nice and low and how they're compact and slim to the shoulders. So like I said, these are the RZ7s. These are the quarterback wide receiver uh, DB pads. So now let's take a look at the back. So now you can see the low profile of the pads from the back. You can see where the back plate attaches to the back of the pad. And you can see how it fits nicely in tune with my body. It's not too wide. It's not too long because it's completely adjustable. Let's take a look at the range of motion of the pad. You can see with a nice wide neck opening and without my jersey on that when you lift your arms that you're not going to choke. You can see here the range of motion with this pad. You can see how this was moved and you see how this aids in the actual range of motion to lift your arm all the way up almost completely above your head. Now you can see how these pads look under the jersey. Take a look at how low profile they are from the front. See from the side from both the front and the back that these are low profile pads. And when I put on my helmet, you can see the range of motion that I have with my head all the way to either side, turning my head around where the movement is not impeded at all. Now Gear Protect makes these pads in three different models. 
They've got the RZ7, which is what I'm wearing now, the QB, wide receiver DB pads. They've got the all-purpose pads, which are the RZ15. The difference with this pad really is going to be a little bit wider of an arch for more protection, a little bit longer of an arch for more protection, and then a little addition to the Delta pads here for more protection. But of course, this, like most of the pads, is going to be completely adjustable. You'll be able to remove this piece as well. Then we got the RZ55, which is for OLDL. So I'm heavy announced that I'll be giving one of these pads away. You will get your pick of the RZ7, the RZ15, or the RZ55 in whatever size you choose. So how to enter this giveaway is down below, but Gear Pro Tech is hooking it up. They're supplying a pad for one lucky winner. All you have to do is follow the instructions in the video description on how to enter this contest. In one week, I'll pick the winner and you'll receive your pads directly from Gear Pro Tech. So if you like my review, remember to give me a thumbs up, Share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.